Hey guys, it is Kristen aka Coco Games and I am back with another video. This is Every Thug Needs a Lady episode, is this episode 7? I'm not sure, I think it's episode 7. Um, and yeah, as you guys saw from that opening scene, a lot of drama is going on, especially continuing from what happened at the end of last episode. We all saw that, you know, the thotty from the club, the bartender, um, sent Rylan some pictures. I mean, I don't know how she got his number. She must have, like, took it off of, I don't know, an employee thing or whatever. But she did text him, like, practically new pictures. And London saw it. And as you guys saw from this beginning, London was not having it. And she kicked Rylan out. And she also went to go give the thought a visit. And it ended, um... Uh, it ended well for London, I'ma say. Um, so we are here. London is smiling because she, you know, she woke to, you know, whatever. Um, as you see, she still, she still has her engagement ring on. But right now, you know, London is really conflicted. She doesn't really know what's going on. She doesn't know what to do. Um, she just has a lot going on. As you see, Rylan is not in the house. And actually, you know, she just, like, kicked him out. And look at this already. She literally just kicked him out, y'all. Your household earns 1000 from child support payments. So, he's already playing child support. But, honestly, y'all, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if Rylan is going to be able to come back home or... I know that London is, like, confused. She doesn't get it. You know, she thought everything was going right. And, you know, now she's just in the house with little RJ and a lot is going on because this just happened when this episode we are going to be basically opening up her store and, you know, setting it for the public because I have been working on it. It's not done, but, you know, I just want her to open the store so she can have stuff to do and that's going to be happening in this episode. So with, you know, all that going on and her, you know, career being right, but now her love life is all messed up, it's crazy. So, you know, she is feeling all types of ways. And actually right now it's about 5 o'clock in the morning. So she doesn't have Ryland around to help her with the baby. And, you know, that's going to be a little bit harder, but... You know, um, for right now, you know, she's just angry and she needs to be just rid of Rylan right now. He actually went off and stayed over Greg, Greg and Zoe's house. So that's where he is right now. And yeah, that's where he's staying. And I don't know, you know, what's going to happen. I don't know. By the end of this episode, maybe Lindsay will make up her mind and figure out what she's going to do. But for right now, he's just not in the house and he's staying with one of his friends. So basically, um, yeah, London has to take care of the baby all by herself. It's really hard, you know, doing it by yourself because, you know, it's so much easier when you got somebody who's helping you. And it's so sad, y'all, because you see like all their pictures are around it's just them or whatever and in her mind she thinks that rylan low-key was cheating with the thought but in reality we all know the truth because we were there we were the audience and we saw that he pulled away okay but you know she doesn't think that so yeah that's what's going on right now um it's actually about five in the morning i have the baby on a literally the perfect schedule he goes to sleep at around eight o'clock at night and then he wakes up really early which is fine with me i think that that schedule works really well so he's actually hungry right now so what i think um london is gonna go do because she's hungry as well is she's going to go make breakfast um i have auto lights on i don't know i just think it makes it easier but you know um if y'all think this is like too much um 
you know, for you to see, you know, is it not enough for you to see if you can't really see it like that and you guys want me to put on lights all the time, I will. But, you know, I just think it's easier to have auto lights on. But anyway, um, so she's going to come and make some food, some breakfast for the baby. You know what? No. She is going to just make breakfast overall and then she'll just give the baby a plate of it. Um, let's have her cook. And um, she's going to cook a breakfast for them, y'all. It's so weird not having Ryland in this house. It's so weird. It's just the two of them. Just the two of us. So, yeah, y'all. Um, she's going to open a store. It's going to be so lit, okay? Um, it's going to be weird because, you know, she is, you know, going through some stuff right now. But... You know, things happen and she actually, you know, is going to have some clients come over. I think she has a client today and um, she's basically just going to take care of the baby, then invite her client over. And then probably later on in the day is going to be like the grand opening of the store um yeah it's gonna be a pretty eventful day for london and she doesn't know what's gonna happen with her and rylan if he's going to come to the event to the you know grand opening or whatever but yeah um okay so we're gonna make pancakes okay because that's like oh a family science we gonna make it um she's gonna make pancakes because you know she's hungry the baby's hungry so he could sleep a little bit longer while she come and you know make these pancakes or whatever but you know even though she going through stuff you know she looking real cute with that little dress on her sandals i'm so dead it's them like flip-flop sounds because it sounds like you know how they got heels on and then it sound like heels is that like flip-flop sounds but anyway um yeah y'all so i don't know why it's a binky on the floor we have a toddler okay so don't mind it um she's going to come over here and oh she needs to clean that oh yeah she needs to clean as well so she has a lot to do y'all and it's a lot because rylan is not here usually he is here to help we have to clean out his little potty um we have to clean you know the coffee thing or whatever just make sure the house is in order yeah, it's so weird, y'all, not seeing Rylan and Harry. And the fact he already paid a child support, though, that's crazy. So, um, what's our baby doing? Okay, so he's, you know, he's hungry, okay? He's hungry, so London needs to hurry up. Um, okay, now his binky want to be all out of place. Um, so... I don't remember, oh, I was about to say, I don't remember where I put his little tablet or whatever, because he could wake up right now. I know he's probably going to be hungry and be like, I want food right now. But um, he could just come over here and play with, actually, let me put this in his inventory. Can he go down the steps yet by himself? Because that would be really helpful. I don't even know if he can, y'all. I know he just improved his little motorized thing. Can you do this? Okay, he can. So come down the steps by yourself, baby. Oh, look, he wants his daddy. Ask Rylan to play. Be friendly with Rylan. Okay, his binky, his binky is annoying me right now. Okay. So guess what? Guess what? Stop moving. Stop moving, baby. Stop moving. I'm going to change his outfit into his everyday outfit. I was going, you know, finesse it and be like, oh, let's give him a bath. But, you know, I don't know about it. I got for it. So, we're going to change him back. I'm just going to have to get rid of that binky, y'all. Because every now and then it work, every now and then it don't. So, we're going to put him in this little outfit that I um, put him in. And, yeah. So, while, um, you know, London goes to open the store tonight to do her little grand opening um he's going to be over his grandparents house you know and hang out with them which i actually do have the mob where they can go visit family and stuff like that oh look at my little baby so cute it's so cute so oh my gosh i love him so much but um yeah so i have that mod so he's gonna go and be with his um you know his his pop pop and all that stuff and you know be with them so london can get her business done look at my baby crawling down the steps he's so cute um okay so did she cook the pancakes okay she's almost done 
Oh, they looking good. Y'all know I got that retexture mod, so they be looking real good. Oh, girl, that almost fell off the spatula. Okay, is you done? Is you done? Is you done? Or no? Or no? Or no? Okay, okay. Um, okay, the pancakes are done. Um, I want you to uh, grab a serving for Rylan, please. Um, no, ain't no grab a serving for yourself, girl. I want you to grab a serving for the baby. Um, please. Okay, the little pancake fiasco is figured out. She's eating her pancakes. The baby is eating her pan his, his pancakes, okay? I wanted him to eat it in his high chair, but you know how the Sims be picking them up, putting them down, picking them up, putting them down. So, I think I have to re-download that my hours. Like, they won't pick them up as much um, or whatever. I don't know. But, um, yes. Okay. Okay. Make a mess if you want to. Okay. Um. So she is going to eat these pancakes. He's going to eat these pancakes. Her client is coming over a little bit later. Right now it's 9 o'clock. And she is going to allow him to play. And then she's probably going to clean up. Like I said, you know, she has to clean out, you know, wash the dishes and then, you know, clean out his little um, potties and everything like that. And then after that, she'll probably take her client and then send him off to his grandparents and then go to London Lux and make sure everything is good over there. Um, I'm pretty sure it is. I went and decorated it, but, you know, I feel like it should be, like, better. So, I'm going to try to do that, you know, before next episode. But, yeah, they're just over here eating. And, yeah, um, she's going to clean everything, get everything in order. And I'll probably see you guys when her client arrives. And, uh, yeah, okay, we're going to have her do that. Okay, okay, okay. so London's client is here, y'all. Um. Um, this is Lashana Longhorn, I want to say, but this was submitted by one of you guys. Of course, if you guys want to submit Sims for London to give them, you know, a style look or, you know, um, you know, beat their face or whatever, you can submit them at London's Buttes. Um, I saw some people submitted it under London Buttes, so I saw like two sims under, under there, so I'm still going to use those sims, it was just under the wrong hashtag. Um, but the only way that I can use y'all sims is if you tell me where they are going. Um, Lashana is actually going to be turning 18, so she needs a cute little outfit for her 18th birthday. And that's what we're going to give her. I got her zoomed in like this because um, I didn't have her hair. So she came here bold, okay, scout. And she obviously doesn't have her same eyebrows and all that stuff. But we're going to get her together, okay. And London is ready for this little client. Um, as you can see, she actually didn't want to go into her beauty room because um, she actually filmed that story time. If you guys did not see London story time, go check that out. Um, but yeah, so she didn't feel like going in her beauty room for this makeover. So she just decided to bring her downstairs. You know, she got all her makeup tools and everything like that. Okay, she got her um her lashes, her, um, you know, her cosmetic bag, her brushes, I think it's like a little, um, eyeshadow back there or whatever. So, she is going to get, um, Miss LaShawna together and I will see y'all after that.
This is her, you guys. This is Lashana, and she is ready for her 18th birthday or whatever. I think she looks so cute, y'all. I know. Y'all might be like, that dress is too grown. I don't know. I think she looks cute. You know, she's going to be 18. You know, she, she looking real cute, y'all. I think she is adorable. Um, whoever made her, thank you so much. She is so cute. Um, as you see, London with, with like, you know, a gold, um, eyeshadow and just, you know, a, a nude, like, pinkish lip. And, you know, she just made her look real cute. I think she looks so cute. Um, so, yeah, that client is done. She gonna be getting her money, probably from her mama, because I'm pretty sure she ain't got the money to pay for, you know, a London makeover. And, um, I'm going to actually meet you guys at the, um, store, London Lux, um, because we are... We are basically going to have um, RJ, you know, go over to his grandparents' house for the rest of the day. Right now, it's around 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And, um, yeah, the baby is tired, so he's going to actually um, bring his little butt over here and take a nap. And, um, yeah, so she's going to, you know, go... Um, and hand him over to her parents and then she is going to go make sure everything is good with London Lux and yeah that's what she's going to do I will see you there um okay this this little butt butt need to go to sleep okay because he tired um I love his schedule that he is on you know he takes a nap in the afternoon ready to go to sleep um, you know, at 8 o'clock, it's, it's lit, okay? It's lit being a parent with a schedule, okay? So, um, yeah, that's what she's going to do, and I will see y'all at London Lux. We are here back with London, and as you see, she got all done up for her little opening or whatever. Um, we are here at London Lux, and I'm excited, y'all. It's about 6 in the afternoon, so it's a little bit of a late opening, but, you know, um... You know, it is what it is. You know, we're we're going to attempt to have a successful opening night, even though the store will be open during the day or whatever. Um, so, yeah, as you see, we do have a few products around the store, but not a lot. Um, just because, y'all, it's a lot going around and dressing these mannequins, okay? Um, like, literally, y'all, it's so many mannequins in the store. This is how it came, and I just thought, I'm going to leave it like that. So, yeah, as you see... Um, I did a few things to the store while I was on, um, stream, I think. I don't know if that's still up on my channel or not, but I did do a few things, um, while on stream. Let me put the walls up and show you guys. So, as you see, shout out to Diverse King for doing this for me. I went and took some pictures of her and some of the, um, employees that will be, Working at the store, which I have not added them to the group yet, but they will be in a group and will be working here. Um, and yeah, so these are the advertisements that are going throughout the store. You know, we got London over here looking all good in the Moschino. I don't know how to say that still. Um, you know, so yeah, I think they are so freaking cute. And it just adds, you know... And it just adds, you know, that personal touch of this actually being London store. Um, and yeah, I think it's so dope. And just throughout, you know, we have the clothing going around the clothing racks. Um, and then we have this little, you know, bag display over here with the Chanel and the Michael Kors and the Celine. And yeah, so this is like a combination of like... Um, luxury and um, London's, you know, designs, I guess. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, so that's the store. And then over here, we just have some... Okay, I forgot to put the walls on there, but over here we just have some dressing rooms, which I think I'm going to renovate. Uh, we have some bathroom stalls, um, a back curb, 
we got the employee room where they can come, you know, put their food or whatever. Um, some people already have food in here. They got some water and orange juice and towel and stuff like that. Um, so that's the employee room. And then over here is going to be London's office, which is bare. I am still going to do stuff to the story you guys it's just i'm so tired of london just sitting around at home doing nothing because as you know she did quit her social media job because it was like a real job but i'm so excited because the road to fame mod i'm filming this on thursday it's coming out tomorrow on friday and i'm excited because it's coming out and i'm gonna create London a social media because this time she, it won't actually be a real job where she has to you know go to work every day it'll just be you know um a place you know a thing that she can do on the side and you know whatever so um I'm excited for that and yeah it's going to be so lit so she is going to come over here and open the store we did hire somebody who's going to be the manager but for those people who submitted sims to be employees here at London Lux they will be employees I just have to add them into a club and have them do retail stuff so um okay so we spent a lot of money on decorating this. That's what kind of why I stopped because we ran out of money. Um, but we, of course, still just got money from doing that, um, you know, be on LaShawn, LaShawn, I think her name was. Um, so we are going to open the store. And yeah, y'all, um, I'm excited. Open for business. Now, hopefully, okay, first of all, first things first, I'm the realist. Um, we need to cut this music, like, all the way off. Um, how do we cut this off? No, I want to cut it off, please. Okay. It looks like it's just not going to do that. I would prefer trap, but, you know, it's just, it's what it is. So, I don't know, y'all. Ain't nobody coming in yet. I hope this is not a fail, y'all. I hope this is not a fail that she opened in the store and nobody is coming. That would be so annoying. Can we do, like, marketing and, like, promote the store or whatever? Purchase advertising. We should have did this before, huh? Oh, no. I already did it. Okay. So, I think that's our employee. That's the manager. I'm going to give her a makeover. So, yep, that's her. Yep, that's me. Um, can we, like, instruct her to do stuff? Um, oh, dang! Okay, girl, she just come and start working. I like you. Okay, people starting to come in. Okay, so we are going to assign... Oh, why is it a man? Um, we are going to have her answer customers' questions. That's what she. That's what she's going to be doing. Um, it'll be real helpful when we get. Okay, this music is blowing me. Um, hopefully, we get you know those other employees in here, so it'll just be easier overall. Y'all, I'm sorry, I don't have time for this, so I'm just going to her on girl. Okay. So yeah, people are coming in looking at stuff. We do have a few outfits out. All of this is set for sale. I just have to go plan the outfits, y'all, because it was just too much. Okay, it was too much. So, um, London, why don't you come over here and talk to, um, Griffin? I don't know. Maybe he buying something for his wifey or his mistress. You don't know. Even though, you know, we ain't too happy with mistresses right now. Okay. Um, so, yeah, she's gonna come and greet him. Um, I'm just gonna cheat this up, y'all, because I don't have time. <laughs> y'all, I don't know. Is people going to come in? She needs to go answer people questions, okay? I don't know why she's just walking around like that. She on her phone. Don't make me fire you as uh, the manager. Oh, shoot. You know what? We need to lock this door right now. Lock door for... Everyone but employees, okay? Because don't nobody got time for that. Okay, she over here talking to him. Oh, we need to talk to her too. Okay, I see you, Tanisha with the bag. You ready to spend your money, girl? Okay. She over here like, oh, this is cute. This is real sexy. 
Um, ask customer to leave retail. Answer questions. No, close the deal. Answer questions. Um, we are just going to work at them, y'all, because we need to sell this stuff, okay? We need the money. We don't really need the money, but, you know, London just wants her own money, you know? Um, so just options. Be like, yeah, this would be so cute on your wife or your girlfriend or whatever. Um, yeah, so we're going to try to finesse this. I don't think but I don't know why, y'all. These these employees never do anything, so that's why I prefer to put them in a group or whatever. And then, I don't know, try to have them do something that way. Um, yeah, they need to fix that or... Bro! Bro, first of all, we need to give her a definite makeover, but her highlight is popping. But my thing is, I told you to answer customers' questions, but you over here restocking outfits that I did not pick out. Who told you to do that? Who? Who's that? Because it wasn't me. Oh, I cannot. Anyway. So she's over here talking to them. Hopefully she can sell to somebody, y'all. We at least need to get one sale. You know how it be, y'all. With the um, retail store. So hopefully we get at least one sale. Because then it will just be, you know, a, a successful night. Especially when it comes to the sim shopping. Um, I don't know. Can she close the deal? Let's see. Because it looked like it's burning out up. Let's see if she can. That would be everything if she could. Can she? Can she? Or he's gonna be like, nah, B. Nah, B. London looks so cute, y'all. Oh! Oh! Is he gonna say yes? 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 Are you ready to buy? What was that? What did we earn money from? I'm so confused. Oh no. It's because this hoe is over here. Restocking stuff. that ain't nobody told her to restock. Like why are you doing this? I'm about to fire her. I'm so through y'all. <laughs> Can you please just, just close one deal. Oh. Who the hell is he talking to? Because he ain't talking to me. Little bit. We did earn money. Where did we earn money from? I don't know. Um, okay. So, I guess his thing went down. I'm confused. I don't know what happened with him. But he's over us, apparently. Um... So, I don't know, y'all. This is a fail. We shouldn't have did this at night. That's why nobody is coming, because it's nighttime. Whatever. You know, we attempted. Okay, we opened the store. The store is open. She'll be able to come back in the afternoon. <laughs> this was such a fail, y'all, because I did it late at night because I wanted to take care of the baby and have her. Oh, he's evil. Well, wow. Um, I wanted her to take care of the baby and do an appointment and stuff like that. This is such a fail, but whatever. The store is officially open. This is where she will be spending the majority of her time. I don't know. Maybe if she gets the road to fame mod, if we get the road to fame mod, and she becomes, you know, um, famous on Simstagram, she'll probably have fans come in here and buy a lot of stuff. So, um, yeah, that's crazy. I don't know if we're going to make a sale. We are getting perk points. I don't understand why this hoe is just over here and not doing what I told her to do. But, you know, that's just how it goes. Hopefully, I have the employees that you guys gave me in this store by the time we do the next episode.
there we have it, y'all. Um, London has taken off her engagement ring. She has decided that her and Rylan need a break. And yeah, Rylan and London are taking a break. I'm pretty sure Rylan is not going to want to stay at his friend's house for, you know, however long this break is going to be. So he's probably going to rent out his own place so, you know, RJ can have somewhere to sleep when he comes and visit visits him. I don't know, y'all. This is real sad. I love London and Ryland. And just the thought that this thought came and messed stuff up is really sad. And, yeah, so she has decided to, you know, not, you know, think about any marriage right now and just take a break. And it's going to be weird, them living separately and living, you know, separate lives for right now. And yeah, so basically, you know, she told Rylan, you do you and I'm to me. And, you know, we'll come together when it's right again. And yeah, we of course know that Rylan did not do anything, but she don't know that. So yeah, y'all, that's the end of the episode. I'm so sad. I hope y'all enjoyed. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next one. Hey, I can't even be hyped because it's so sad. But yeah, I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys. Listen, see you got